I want to start by explaining what, what, what this is about, Netroots, um, through a bit of history. Imagine this is the 70s in the United States. A group of young conservative activists who call themselves the New Right are worried that left-wingers are going to take over the country. Democrats are passing all sorts of civil rights legislation and expanding the size of the state. One of these guys was a guy called Peter Weyrich. In an interview with the BBC then, decades later actually, he said he went to a left-wing meeting and he was shocked by how many groups there were working together to discuss tactics. They were organized they were, and they could mobilize lots of people. And I know what you're thinking, I was shocked by that too. Weyrich goes back, into, back to his mates and he says, look, we have to copy what the left is doing, otherwise we're going to get seriously left behind. They also started looking at the, mobilizing the only constituency at that time that paid no attention to politics, but was on their side. That was the Christian evangelicals. The rest, as they say, is history. But sometimes history can be circular. Around 2004, another guy goes to uh, a bunch of his friends. His name was Rob Steen. Rob Steen was a Democrat, and he has this uh, presentation that he presented to them called, uh, based on the, what he called the conservative message machine. And what he says to all these people, uh, Democrats, is that these guys, the conservatives, have built up a, a message machine that they pour money into every year, but they have built up an infrastructure that every year reinforces what they do and pushes their agenda. And it makes sure that they're talking with one voice but also makes sure that their message gets out to lots of people and they can drive the agenda. So what do the Democrats do? They decide, well, look, we have to build out an alternative message machine. We have to figure out a way to fight back, and we have to copy their tactics in one sense. Now, clearly, this is the United States, and there isn't that much money in, the, in UK politics compared to the US, but there are, two, there are two lessons that stick with me from reading those stories. One is that change happens in two ways. One of those changes is that you get a massive shock to the system, a bit like the financial crash, which makes people think differently, fundamentally changes the way they've seen the world. The other one is a slow drift, depending on which side can convince more people and mobilize them, or alternatively get to people to vote for them. For the second to happen, we need an infrastructure. We need to reach out to ordinary people and to mobilize them to build networks of activists to sp be able to spread the message. Now, the unions are one important key part of that, but that is not all there is. We have to build an infrastructure, and this is what Netroots is about. This is not about any political party, but about building a left-wing infrastructure that can put pressure on Westminster and push the change that we want to see. This is a pluralistic space where people, where some, some people like direct action, some people will focus on union organizing. Some people can only use Twitter and blogs to make their voices heard. And some people will want to be out in the streets. Each action is important and each action is necessary. We may disagree on the tactics, but we know what we want. We want to take back our country from the neoliberal economics that has dominated over the last 30 years. To do that, we need short-term action, such as opposing workfare, disability cuts, and a lot of other else that the government is pushing. But we also need long-term planning. Netroots, I'm not here to offer you inspiration. I'm rubbish at that. There are people like Sue Marsh and hundreds of, uh, hundreds of others who worked on the Spartacus report and pushed it out there who are much better at offering you inspiration and offering you uh, examples of what they've done. But I want to say something else, which is I want to help build something that others can use for campaigning and to learn from each other and to mobilize people. And that's the only way we can take our country back. And I hope today you will help me do that. Thank you.